Hi, this is Planet Mitch from Planet5D.com with a Canon EOS 1DC update. That's this guy. Uh, you saw this when I did the unboxing yesterday. And this is the latest camera from Canon that is... Uh, um, the good folks over at B&H Photo have sent this to me for a little testing. And so we've been doing some testing. Today I went out and shot a little bit of video. Yesterday I shot some stills with the camera, and today I'm using this uh, Extreme SanDisk card, which is a 60 megabytes per second um, card. And as I've learned very quickly that if you're recording 4K video with this, you're in big trouble because 60 megabytes per second constantly gets uh, buffering problems and then the camera shuts down. So they recommend over on the 1DC site, on the Canon 1DC site, um, 100 megabytes per second cards. So if you're going to record 4K, I guess you better go get one of those. I don't have one, so I'm in big trouble. All right, so we've take, I'm going to take this and I'm going to show you the process of ingesting and displaying these images, these videos, with uh, Final Cut Pro 10. I do not have Adobe Premiere, so I can't really show you that, but it turns out that it works fairly seamlessly in Final Cut 10. Here we see the finder view of the EOS Digital or the CF card. I have gone ahead and renamed all the clips so that I know exactly which test what I was doing. And I tested uh, several 4K videos here, and then I tested the uh, S35, the Super 35 size, and then I did two tests at uh, regular HD size with the 1DC. So I'm going to import those over into Final Cut Pro. In Final Cut 10, I have set up a new project, and up here I have a sparse disk with the um, event for the Canon 1DC that I'm going to do the import. So I'm going to go ahead and do the import from the CF card, but I want these videos right here. So I'm going to import those, and all I'm doing is copying them from the CF card. I'm not doing any transcoding, but I'll show you that later. Now well, that's importing, I wanted to show you what it's like. Uh, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. When I play this directly through my iMac, I have copied one of the files, one of the 4K video files over to the desktop and I'm just going to hit the space bar and you can see how well that works or doesn't work and the basic story is it's very jittery uh, the finder does not play very well through the the whole clip it stutters uh, but it certainly takes up almost the whole screen so that's cool here we've finished the import in Final Cut and I'm going to show you that Final Cut will play it although it will stutter a little bit but this is rather small size, uh, so you know I've I've shrunk the screen quite a bit. So the iMac's doing okay. The real key here is the what you want to do is take all of your videos and go to your settings, and you want to use proxy media. Um, so that initially shows everything as missing proxy. But you want to then go in and do transcode media. And again, you can do this on import, but I wanted to show you the multiple steps uh, just so it would make more sense. Uh, I'm going to let it do the uh, transcode and create m proxy media. And while that's working, or when that's finished, we'll come back and look at it again. Now that we've got the import done, you can. I'm going to open this project and I'm going to take these clips and put them down in my timeline and I'm going to make the timeline smaller and let's just go play those clips now you're going to see some <laughs> scrubbing works fine but with with the proxy and with the fact that I've got my screen really small it's not taking up my entire iMac screen so you're seeing 
this viewer smaller than HD size, uh, the moray that you're going to see in here is not part of the 1DC video at 4K. It's just the way this player is, is doing it. So I've, I've started the play button, and again, this moray is nowhere close to that in the full frame clips. But the point being is that you can scrub through this with the proxy. You can process this 4K material very easily. Um, I do have the top of the line iMac, uh, the i7 processor with 32 gigabytes of RAM running on here. Uh, but I suspect that if I put these over on my MacBook Pro that I'd be able to edit these because of the proxy that I'm using. And then I should be able to export quite quite readily. Uh, one thing I did want to show you, by the way, is if I go to the project and I do Command-4, you can see up here in the project info that it is 496 by 2160. So by dropping that first clip in there uh, as a 4K clip, it is registering as a 4K project. And everything is working just the way I hoped it would work in Final Cut 10. So there's a quick run through of the workflow from the 1DC onto my iMac into Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks to BH Photo yet again for sending us the 1DC to play with. Did I say 1DX a minute ago? Maybe I did. It's the 1DC. Uh, so we're going to do a little 4K editing and see what we get with Moray and other things when we're compared to this to the 5D Mark II and 5D Mark III. And so keep your eyes peeled here on planet5d.com.